Hi, friends. Welcome to the Friendly Frog Treehouse. Come on in. Have a seat. Come on in. Have a seat. It's a beautiful day. Welcome back. Hi, friends. Welcome back to the Friendly Frog Treehouse. Hi, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to have story hour. You see my friend? He loves stories. This is a tree frog. <laughs> hey, go ahead and get comfortable. My frog friend's going to get comfortable too, and we're going to read a story. Are you going to go? Grab it, grab it. <laughs> Whoa. He wants to say hello. <laughs> say hello to him, boys and girls. <laughs> Hi, frog tree friend. Boys and girls, I have a beautiful story today. It is a book called Leaf Man by Lois Eckler. This is the front of the book. Let's turn it around. This is the back of the book. You see this long spine of the book? The spine holds the pages. Is this a good spine? Yeah, we've been taking really good care of our books, boys and girls. The name of this book is Leaf Man. Can you say Leaf Man? <laughs> the author wrote the words. The illustrator is also Lois Eckert. She drew the pictures. Come inside the book with me. Wow, boys and girls, look at all the beautiful pictures Lois Eckert drew. So when I asked you to help me turn the page, you got to use your muscles. Are you ready? Help me turn the page. Mm. Whoa, there's even more beautiful colors here. Let's read it. It says, Leaf Man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. Do you see Leaf Man hiding in the pile of leaves? You found him? Good. Help me turn the page. Mm. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. Oh no, where did the wind blow Leaf Man, boys and girls? Help me turn the page. The last time I saw him, he was headed east past the, what does this look like? a chicken. <laughs> he blew past the chickens, boys and girls. Can you tell me the sound that a chicken makes? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs> Help me turn the page. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He blew toward the marsh, over the ducks, geese. A leaf man's gotta go wherever the wind blows. You think we can count these geese? You think they look like ducks? Well, what sound does a duck make? Quack, quack. <laughs> You're right. Let's count them. One. Two, three, four. Four ducks or geese. All right, help me turn the page. Mm -hmm. He blew over the field of pumpkin and winter squash. Here 
here's a pumpkin. Here's a pumpkin. And here's a pumpkin. They're circles, boys and girls. Do you see the winter squash right here? It's a yellow-shaped winter squash. You're right. Help me turn the page. And he blew over the turkey. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Do you see the turkey here? Pass the potatoes, carrots, and cabbage in rows. The leaves look like a bunch of different things. They look like cabbage, they look like potatoes, and they even look a little bit like rows of carrots. Ooh, help me turn the page. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchid? The word drifting mean, boys and girls. Drifting means to soar, to fly gently past the orchids of vegetables and fruits. Do you see pears? Can you see oranges? Yeah, there are kind all kinds of fruits in the orchard. You're right. Help me turn the page. Whoa, boys and girls. Where did Leaf Man go? He went over the prairie meadows. Whoa, boys and girls, do you see the Leaf Man blowing? I wonder where will he end up, my friend? Where's Leaf Man going to end up? Now, help me turn the page. <clears throat> and past the spotted cows. Well, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. You see the spotted calf? You see the spotted cow? You help me turn the page. Uh, uh, whoa. Maybe Leaf Man's gliding on a lake breeze. Hmm. What does the word gliding mean, Fred? Yes, it means to move slowly through the water. Kind of like floating. Yeah. Do you see any animals? The shape of leaves? What does this animal look like? Can you say a turtle? Yes, it is a turtle leaf. What about this leaf? What does this look like to you? A fish! Yes, my friends, a leaf can look like any shape that you might be thinking in your imagination. That one happens to look like a fish as it's gliding on the water. It's moving softly, <laughs> like floating. Help me turn the page. Mm. Mm. Or flying along the river. Help me turn the page. Mm -hmm. Following butterflies, going south. Well, a leaf man's gotta go where the wind blows. You see the butterflies? Yeah. 
The leaves are shaped like butterflies. Help me turn the page. Mm. Mm. He might even be traveling north above leaves that look like him. Do you see Leaf Man in these leaves that look like him? He's hiding in there. You're right. Help me turn the page. Or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. Whoa! Those leaves look like birds. Can you count the bird leaves? One. They're flying on the paper, too. Two. Three. Four. Five. You're right. Five leaf birds. All right, my friend. I wonder where leaf man will end up. Whoa, they're still flying. Help me turn the page before they get away. Mm. When Leaf Man looks down on the earth, is he lonesome for a home? Oh, he's been flying in the wind so long, he may be getting lonesome, boys and girls. Do you see him flying? I wonder where he's going. Help me turn the page. Mm. Mm. Whoa, boys and girls, can you spot Leaf Man in this picture? That does look like a chicken. This I do know, boys and girls, where a Leaf Man will land. Only the wind knows. So listen for the rustle in the leaves outside your house. Maybe you can hear him flying by. Because a leaf man's gotta go where a leaf man's gotta go. Help me turn the page. Mm -hmm. We did it. Maybe you'll find a leaf waiting to go home with you. Boys and girls, did you see any leaves in your car? Did you take any leaves home with you? Because you know, a leaf only goes where the wind blows. And what is that saying? A leaf man's gotta go where a leaf's gotta go. Help me turn the page. Mm -hmm. Whoa, boys and Girls. Do you think you can go outside and collect some leaves and make your very own leaf man? I think you can too. All right, my friends, that's the end of the story because that's the back of the book. Well, thank you so much for coming to the Friendly Frog Treehouse to read with us. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile.